Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to walk through a very simple process for creating a roll up field um, to track the last activity on a specific record type. Uh, it specifically leads. So one of the biggest um, shortcomings for a lot of firms is lead management and letting leads grow stale. Um, not keeping up with those. You've got a lot of leads in your system that haven't been contacted in years. Um, their ratings and statuses um, aren't in alignment. So this is a great, very simple uh, way to keep track of the last time an activity was performed for a lead. And what we're going to do is after we build that field and add it to the form, I'm going to show you how to quickly build out um, a view for leads based on that field um, in order for you to keep up with that information and add it to a dashboard. That way, right when you log in uh, to CRM, you'll, you'll be able to see specific leads that haven't been reached out to or haven't been contacted um, in a certain amount of time, depending on how you, you would want to specify that. So I'm here in Power Apps um, within my testing environment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the table in which I want to create this roll up for. So for this example, we are going to use the lead record. So I'm going to navigate to my tables and scroll down to lead. And on my columns tab, I'm going to click add column. And I'm just going to call this one recent activity. Now this particular roll up that I want to create, I want this to be a date and time. I want to be able to see when the actual last activity was for this lead record. Um, so I'm going to select date and time and right here where it says calculated or roll up, I want this to be a roll up. And it's asking me if I want to go ahead and save my changes because it needs to take me to a, a different area of the site. And my pop up blocker is on, so you want to make sure that is off. Not sure if it actually created the field or not. It did. So there's my recent activity. And we're going to open the roll up since we didn't actually get to make any changes to it. All right, so we can see our source entity is the lead. And what we want to do is we want to pivot to the related entity to check the date on that activity related to the lead. So in my related option, uh, this drop down here, I'm going to select activities regarding and click my checkbox over here to the right. And I'm I only want activities that have been completed. So I'm going to I'm going to add a condition to say, you know, activity status equals completed. Um, if there's an open activity, um, you know, I'm, I can't really go off that because you could have an activity that's been sitting in an open status because one of your users forgot to close it. So I want to see the last time an activity has actually been completed for a lead. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to add an aggregation. Now I want the most recent activity actual end. So I actually don't need to change anything. I want the, the max activity end. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just click the checkbox. And so now what this roll up is going to do is it's going to take a look at all the activities that are regarding my lead. And if the status is completed, it's going to give me the most recent one of those with that actual end date used uh, for my date and time field. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and close.
and I can click done here. And so now that that field is created. So now I'm going to navigate to my forms tab and I'm going to select my main lead form where I'm going to add this field. And it makes sense just to add this close to the timeline where the activities are, but you can place this, you know, wherever you'd like to on the form. Um, again, I'm just going to add it right above this, the timeline section here. So I'm going to click on my table column, col uh, excuse me, table columns here, and I'm going to locate my newly created uh, recent activity field. I'm just going to drop it right in there. Okay. Um, it's as simple as that. I've added it. Now I just need to save and publish. And then these roll-up fields, they'll update um, automatically every 12 hours. And I believe every hour after that first initial 12 hours. So there's a chance it might not always be up to date, especially when you first create this. Um, there is a manual calculation, but generally, if you're if you're you know mom monitoring activity on leads, um, it's not something that you need to see you know accurate every second. So just know that there is a bit of a time between when that field actually recalculates itself. All right, so now our form is published, <clears throat> so we can navigate to dynamics. Um, I'm on just a test lead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and we should see that calculated field here. So there's our recent activity. You can see it hasn't yet updated. I can click on this little calculator icon and recalculate recal manually. Um, what what I want to do at first, though, I mean, if I click re recalculate, there's not going to be anything in there. It's going to say it's updated, but it's not going to give me any dates because I don't have any activity in my time. I don't have any activities regarding this testing lead. So when we build out our view, if what, what we'll do is we'll, you know, we'll say, all right, I want to see all leads where the last activity is older than blank, older than a certain amount of time. Um, but I also will add and a condition to say if recent activity does not contain data, because I would also want to see um, any leads where there was no activity for them, because that's telling us right off the bat, no one's doing anything with this lead, no one's reached out to them, no one's you know sent them an email, no one's completed any tasks or set any appointments. Um, so that would be one of the criteria that we want to add to that view. So now if I go into the timeline and I'm just going to um, create a quick phone call, There's my test phone call. Uh, all the required fields are filled, so I'm saving close. So now we've got an open phone call for this particular lead. Now, if I recalculate, I would not expect anything to show up here because we still don't have any completed activities. So you can see it recalculated and still no information. So now if I go and if I complete this phone call activity, Now, if I refresh, I should see today's date and it should be around 637. There we go. We can see specifically the last time that this lead had a closed activity was today at 637. So can, can be a very useful field. One thing I will say, I don't really like how we have to see the last updated all the time. I'm, I'm hoping that that's something that Microsoft changes um, to be determined at this time. So now what we can do is since we have this field on our lead, we can create a view to add to our dashboard to monitor this. So my look for is set to leads, which is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and specify that I only am concerned with uh, leads that are in and open status. So status equals open. Now, you can get as granular with this as you want. Um, 
generally clients will treat leads with different ratings differently. So if you've got a hot lead where, um, you know, they're very close to coming on board as a client or purchasing a product, you know, generally you're going to want that last activity on those or recent activity on those leads to to not be as old as one, let's say a cold lead you know a cold lead maybe you reach out to them once a month or once a quarter whereas a hot lead you know whoever is the owner of that lead and and tasked with keeping in contact with them it might be something where you you want them to be contacted on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis so we can we like i said you can get as granular as you want and and that is up to you how you want to categorize those, whether or not you use lead rating or if there's another um, specific field that you want to reference or a, another way that you categorize your leads, you can certainly do that. So for this example, we're just going to use some of the out of the box, um, out of the box fields. We're going to use rating and status reason. So I'm going to say, all right, I want um, leads with a rating of hot. And a status reason of I'm only concerned with contacted or new leads. Um, any canceled or cannot contact or lost, no longer interested, qualified. I don't need to concern myself with those. So only if they're they have a status reason of contacted or new. And I want the recent activity um, for these hot leads, we're just going to say any leads where the recent activity is <clears throat> older than we'll say one week. Older than one week or if the recent activity does not contain data. Now I am going to group these two right here as or. So I'm just going to hold down my control key on my keyboard and group those as or. And then I want I want both of these, all four of these criteria grouped as and. So I'm going to select all of those and I'm going to group as and. So this is me saying I want this criteria and this criteria to be met and either this criteria or this criteria. So I want recent activity older than one week or if that field does not contain data. So this is for our hot leads, the leads that are very close to coming on board or we, you might be close to making a sale. So now we want to specify the same for a lead with a rating of warm. So we'll add a criteria for rating equals warm and status reason equals either contacted or new. And for the warm leads, we can do recent activity. Let's do older than two weeks. Again, this is where it's up to your discretion how you want to to handle these time frames of when you want to be you know, warned. Hey, this person hasn't been reached out to in over two weeks and their rating is warm. So now we'll add recent activity does not contain data and we're going to group those as or and then we're going to group all of these together as and. So now we just need to account for leads with a rating of cold. Now these leads are obviously ones you're not going to reach out to as often as you would warm or hot leads. So we will do recent activity older than, let's just say a month. Older than one month or recent activity does not contain data. Group those as or. And we'll group these together as and. 
and we are going to we, now we need to group all three of these together as or. So I want to see leads with a status equal to open. Where either. The lead rating equals hot and the status reason equals contact or new and the recent activity is older than one week or the recent activity doesn't contain data. Same goes for the rating of warm and the rating of cold. So you can see this is a very simple you know, view to set up. It just takes a couple of minutes and we're all set. So now we can go ahead and save that as, you know, we could call it um, leads activity view. And of course, once you get your criteria set up, you know, we can edit our columns. We can you can add whatever information, you know, is pertinent to your specific organization. Um, obviously, we would probably want to add that recent activity field that we just created as a column. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, if I click results, I don't know. I don't have a lot of leads in here, but you can see. <clears throat> that. None of the leads that I currently have have any uh, or have a recent activity showing up now. This this testing lead is not showing up because it does have a recent activity, but this is a great view to add to your dashboard and anytime anybody's showing up in here, you know, at the that time it's you know up to you as a as a administrator in CRM to reach out to the owner of that lead and say you know hey what's going on when you know what's the status do do you think this person's actually interested in becoming a client or you know hey you need to reach out to this person and you know check in with them or does that lead need to be disqualified you know is it time to call it quits on that particular individual so a really, a really easy advanced find and field to set up that can really help you um, keep your data clean, make sure your, your users are keeping up with their leads and, and contacting them or um, performing activities for them on a regular basis based on criteria that you set.